Hi, Steve. Hey, all right, Jeff. We need an entirely new team after promotion this season. Ah, uh, Jeff, mate, I understand we're a little bit shy on bodies at the moment, buddy. We're a little bit shy on cash too, though. I might be able to buy you a training bib if you're lucky. Don't worry, lads. I've got you covered. Who are you and how did you get in here? You here for the audition? Hello guys, I'm the Kegman, welcome to Kegman Plays. So sometimes in FM, especially at the start of the save, we really like to bring a few new faces in and stamp our authority on a new team. However, sometimes finances really don't allow it. So today I've created a first 11 and seven subs for you to sign as free agents in Foot Manager 2021. So full disclosure before we go in, this video is accurate at the time of recording. Today is October the 27th, 2020, and I'll be using FMI's 2020 updated transfers database, Football Manager 2020, as well as transfermarket.com. Good Lord, that was a mouthful. So before we get into the video, why not take the opportunity to hit that like button, subscribe, and also check the video description for the links to my Twitch, Twitter, and my Discord. Right, so let's hit the subs first as they are kind of like the honorable mentions as such for this team. Sub number one, Wilfred Bonny. Last seen playing for Al Atihad in Saudi Arabia. Sub two, Kevin Stewart. Last seen playing for Hull City. Sub three, Jusalei, Jusalei. However you pronounce his name, he was last seen playing for Sao Paulo. Sub four, Shinji Kagawa. If I didn't mention Kagawa, I'd upset my friend Sign Optical. Last seen playing for Dortmund, he's definitely worth signing for the Japanese shirt sales at least. Sub 5. Ryan Shotton. Last seen playing for Middlesbrough. Sub 6. Antonio Valencia. The Manchester United stalwart was last seen playing for Liga de Quito in his home nation of Ecuador. Sub 7. Oyen Nyland. The Norwegian stopper was last seen playing for Aston Villa. So, sub's done then. Okay, let's get into the first 11. I've set the team up as a 4-4-2, as that is probably the most common tactic out there. Goalkeeper, Anton Mitriushkin. So, starting at the back and in the net, the first of our 11 free agents is 24-year-old Anton Mitriushkin from Russia. Although, at time of recording, I do believe he may be 25. Looking at the stopper, we can see he's pretty decent, especially for a free agent. A natural defensive goalkeeper, Anton has recently left Swiss outfit Sion, having joined the club from Spartak Moscow for £300,000 in the 15-16 season. According to FM, he's only once played more than 20 games in a season, which was during the 16-17 season. The relative youngster has limited first team experience, but he looks like a very solid prospect. Right back, Daryl Yermat. So, starting our outfield players at right back, we find former Watford, Newcastle and Feyenoord fullback Daryl Yanmat. The 29-year-old Dutchman has just left Watford after the Hornets were relegated. The talented fullback has two strong feet and can play at left back in a pinch as well as providing centre back and defensive midfield cover. The Feyenoord Academy graduate is a Premier League standard player and even if he can't beat your starting right back, he is an incredibly good backup. Left back, Ivan Strinic. Switching to the left flank, we're also switching up a gear with Ivan Strinic. The 49 camp Croatian is a fantastic addition to the left side of the pitch. Last seen playing for AC Milan, Strinic has spent the last four years of his career in the Serie A, having joined Napoli from Dnipro on a free. Strinic has played quite a low amount of football during his time in Italy, and if FM is to be believed, it isn't because of his injuries. In-game, he has some fantastic attributes, and at the age of 31, there's still a few years left in the old boy yet. Centre-back, Ezekiel Garay. A name perhaps more familiar to most, thanks to his time at Real Madrid, we come to the first of our two centre-backs. Argentinian defender Garay is still an incredible player. With his physical still holding strong, and his 189cm tall frame, he still manages to strike an imposing figure on the pitch. 
15 heading and 14 in tackling and marking is respectable for a man last seen playing his trade in Valencia, where he played 75 games between 2016 and 2019. Centre back, Jutso Simonovic. Looking at a younger partner for Garay, we find 25 year old Bosnian Jutso Simonovic. Jutso hasn't made a senior international appearance, but don't let that distract you from his abilities. With 16 heading, 17 jumping reach, and a 191cm frame, I doubt he's going to be beaten in the air by too many people. That's complemented by 12 in marking, 15 tackling, 13 positioning, and 15 strength. Simonovic was last seen playing for Celtic, having joined from Dinamo Zagreb in the 2015-2016 season. Right midfield, Agustan Alioni. Moving to midfield, we stumble across a player I have never heard of, but looks good nonetheless. Having started his career at Velez Sarsfield, the Argentine moved to Palmeiras before heading out on loan to Bahia and then Rosario Central. Agustan can play a multitude of positions on the pitch, but is best on the left side of the field. Whilst not the best player in the world, he is a solid championship player, or indeed a backup for a Premier League team. Left midfield, Quadwo Asamoah. Probably the first truly standout player in this 11, we stumble across 74 times capped Ghanaian Quadwo Asamoah. Having spent most of his playing career in Italy, Asamoah has amassed a huge number of games for Udinese, a respectable amount of games for Juve before joining Inter Milan, the club he was last seen playing for. He is a fantastic pickup and could stroll into most Premier League teams. His physicals are really good and his mentals are something else. With the ability to play down the left and in centre mid, you will have a player that will provide competition for most of your team. Centre midfield, Jack Wilshere. If you're English, then this will probably be the most well-known name on the team sheet. Wilshere was recently released by West Ham having only played 8 games for the Hammers. Unfortunately, Wilshere's career went the same way as both Lee Sharps and Joe Coles, having had an incredibly promising career marred by injuries. Whilst the physicals may have dipped, Wilshere is still only 28 and has plenty to offer with his technical and mental abilities still being incredibly serviceable. Most known for playing in the middle of the pitch for Arsenal, Wilshere can also play across the attacking midfield positions. Centre mid, Freddie Guarin. If you are as old as I am, then you'll remember playing Championship Manager 0304 and then finding wonder kid Freddie Guarin. The Colombian is actually only around three months older than me, but has had an incredible career having played for clubs such as Boca, San Etienne, Porto, Inter and Vasco da Gama. With 57 caps to his name, Warren has had a pretty decent showing on the international stage. As you can see, he's still an incredibly good player too. Striker, Daniel Sturridge. Oh, Studgy. Daniel Sturridge is probably one of the most naturally gifted strikers England has produced in the modern era. Unfortunately, much like Wilshere, Sturridge's career has been hampered by injuries, and more recently he has come under a different kind of scrutiny, having received a ban from football thanks to betting on matches. Still a very impressive player, Sturridge will provide some much needed firepower as long as he doesn't get injured. Or bet on matches. Striker Mario Mandzukic With 89 caps and over 400 club games, we find our final and most experienced player. Mandzukic was last seen playing for Juve, where he spent five years of his career. The Croatian is still an incredible force on the pitch, even in his mid-30s, and I would argue that his in-game attributes should be enough to convince you to sign as legend of the game for a season or two. And that is that, folks. With FM21 around the corner, I'll probably have to update this in the future, but for now, Going into the beta, you'll have a hit list of free agents to work with. Do you agree with my selection? Who would you replace in the team? Who would you replace them with? Let me know in the comments below, of course. If you haven't already clicked the like button or subscribed, please go ahead and do that now. It does help the channel grow. You can also help me out by following me over on Twitch and Twitter, the links for which you can find in the description below, as well as the link to my Discord. Thanks to my Patreons for supporting the channel. I truly appreciate the ongoing support.